year 2018 means a big change for one of our best-selling frames Primals. Yeah, Primal in 2017 there was a Primal 27 and a half and a Primal Plus. It could be a bit sometimes not easy to understand because Primal Plus was for the 27 and a half plus tires and the 29 inch wheels but up to maximally 2.2 and the Primal 27 and a half was for the 27 and a half wheels but the tires maximum 2.45 yeah so it is a quite big limitation now when a lot of people prefer using 2.4 2.5 2.6 tires yeah something like the semi uh, semi plus or even plus 2.8 or even maybe 3.0 okay so we decided to make a uh, one important change to divide 29 from 27 and a half and now primal 27 and a half which you can see here now it's this frame can fit now the whole range of the 27.5 tires starting with 2.3 up to 2.8 and if you really want to use 3.0 you also can fit them but it's not only the change of the size of the tires which you can use here yeah because the change is more complex the changes are more complex the geometry of the frame is now much more progressive much more aggressive the head tube uh, angle is now 65.5 yeah it's like hornet two years ago so it's it's really you can use it not only on a trace take it for the enduro no problem uh, in other changes following the same idea is making the reach longer putting the BB lower yeah plus we use here the boost size dropout so now the primals comes with a with a two axle and what's the best that the price of the frame we keep the same uh, and now about the bikes yeah you also has the the, the, the the new much much nicer more cool the graphic design and how about the bikes we have uh, two new bikes based on the Primal 27 and a half the pro version and the evo version the pro version yeah it has all the best here like for this kind of this level of the hardtail uh, hardtail gravity bike so what we have here we have the Santu Ion fork with 35 uh, millimeter upper legs we have here the adjustable seat post 150 millimeter travel we have a two-piece crank set with the boost direct mount chain wing we have the 11 speed drivetrain but with a cassette with the range 11 to 46 no worry about uphealing we have here the white handlebar tornado and for the complete bikes for the trial trail complete complete bikes now we change the height of the tornado and we use the low version so it's not only 780 millimeter length but it's more flat with the rise just 0.5 inch certainly we are using here the hydraulic level disc brakes and in this bike, in this bike, in the mass production, we will be using our new welded rims, the Thunder welded rims, 32 millimeter wide. And on these rims, we will be using the high end tires, Schwalbe Nobinik, with the speed grip compound. Yeah. So, not the performance level, just the high end level of the compound. Perfect, perfect trail enduro hard. And the Evo the Evolution version, yeah, it's uh, certainly it's a it's a it's a cheaper uh, bike, so it's using a, a, a little cheaper component, but it's still a perfect bike. What we have here, we have the uh, Rockshox Raycon uh, fork. We have the 2.6 tires. In this case, it's a Smart Sam performance level, but it's a cheaper bike. But we still have here two-piece crank. We have here 11 by 42 cassette with a 10 speed drivetrain. We have here our new cruiser rims. Everything in a very nice all black uh, colorway. Okay, and still here we have the hydraulic disc brakes. We have here this 780 millimeter wide handlebar and our trail stem. Perfect bike.